Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome back to RimWorld. As I typically do, I've done a few things in between episodes, so I'll give you my, my report. One of them was a, a power conduit that runs down this area to a switch and back up again, and then taps both of the, the turrets, so we'll be able to hit a switch and turn them both on, rather than have to run up to them and, and flip them on. A couple more batteries in here as well, just to uh, give us some more reserve in this area. And then ran some conduit up through the gauntlet into greenhouse number two, and did it in a way that if we get a boom inside of our gauntlet and blow some things up, there's a good chance we'll still have another pathway somewhere to continue to power this till we get a chance to fix things. Otherwise, what's going on? Let's take a look at Alicia, who is still going through withdrawals, is at 23% now, and was at 18% last the start of last episode, if I remember correctly. So I'm thinking that's what, about episode 50? <laughs> and get this done? Yeah, I'm thinking we're going to kind of set a, a, a no drug um, withdrawal or addiction policy on our new recruits but this has been a good lesson to learn how this works and and uh, kind of figure this all out in fact while I was working on things up in there and having them haul more wood in and stuff like that that's that's the sort of stuff I'm doing that uh, in between episodes is kind of boring to watch um, she decided to joy by re relaxing socially all the way up here and we're actually right there and the time it took her to get there and get back she was crashing on rest and food so what I'm going to do is actually what's the best way to get there manage areas new area let's make a relabel um, drug detox zone yeah we'll do that and then close that hop out of here let's give Alicia an area that she needs to stay in where is that right there so she can stay say like that that a chance to get outside not far but enough to get outside they will build up cabin fever after a while if they're inside all the time otherwise access to the hospital like that that should be enough so it really just confines her to in here because it takes her so long to walk anywhere that she runs out of food before she gets there. So let's go to restrict, yeah, drug detox zone. And Alicia, that is your area now. You need to stay in there. Now, how you doing otherwise? Needs your, you've got a little more time as far as food and rest. Got food right there, got a table right there. Um, been stocking that thing up good, in fact, um, food we're good for three days okay um yeah where are we 3 a.m and 3 a.m is a sleep period so two more hours of sleep you wake up or at that point we may just have to force you to go get a meal just keep just keep babysitting it until uh until we finally get through that i'm hoping i'm guessing that if we just keep her from going into a uh, a major breakdown then she's just going to keep, you know, cycling her way through this uh, this whole process until she's done with it. And then we can give her, you know, a bunch of normal orders and get her back to work. So that's my guess there. What's everybody doing right now? Tomasov's sleeping. Handy is playing chess. So she must be needing some joy, but she's done with that. Okay, so she's... Uh, Joy's almost maxed out. Mood's in good shape. Food is decent. What do we need built? What can we assign her to that's the most important right now? This one eventually. This one up here. I'm thinking it's it's power for the, uh, for the turrets. So let's get this area right here built. Otherwise, Rabbit is in good shape. Shantigo's needing a meal. His rest is almost done and he's not too worrisome in his mood so we'll let him just do that naturally uh klaus mood is right on the line right now how are we going to fix that a lot of them just have a lot of negatives it's not so much that these bars are in bad shape but then there's a lot of there's a lot of red stacked against them so how much longer two more days on that prisoner that died agira 
Hmm. So that's only a negative five. If we had sold the other two as uh, slaves to those pirates, we'd, I'm, I'm guessing we'd see a negative 15 twice, which would last for days and days and days. It's rough when you do that. That's, that's an expensive way to grow your silver. Um, otherwise, what else can we do for Klaus? We can keep Michael making statues and we'll move them into the bedrooms. And then eventually when he's done with his disease and doesn't have that um, sick, well, right now it's negative five plus, what's this Klaus? Negative five for sick and negative 10 for moderate pain. So a constant negative 15 plus his negative 12 from being a depressive all stacked against them. Then we can get them out mining and doing other things where the environment's not gonna be so uh, you know, detracting against them. Anyways, Klaus, Sangria, you are hauling a dead timber wolf in. Yeah, we gotta talk about uh, carnivores. You're, oh, you're actually, you went and got it and you're on your way back, okay. Apparently the warg and the timber wolf went at it. Somebody got hungry and the warg won. And we've got our links over here, warg over there. The other warg has worked his way down. He's over here. So I think we need to form one more heart hunting party and just take these two out. Otherwise, there's not a lot of meat left in the map. We still gotta go pick up that one. And deer are all gone. Ibex are gone. There's a rabbit, a raccoon over there. Any more raccoons? No, nope, it's the only one. I've seen a rabbit or two. I've seen some squirrels, and that's about it. And it's not even a hard winter. You know, we're at 23 degrees, but we're not snowing hard. Um, Sangria has been trying to work on this last alpaca here, and that's kind of it on the map. So we went hunting just in time. So since the warg and the lynx are just going to die anyway with nothing to eat. We may as well go hunt them and get some meat out of it. So that's on the list. Otherwise, kind of run through the list here, then we'll get this thing going. Kethra needs... She just got finished. She's pretty well pootered out there and, and going to be refreshing there with, with rest and food. Natalia, um, she's a night owl. Right? No, but she's on a night owl schedule. That's what we've done. And so she's in pretty good shape all the way around. Really good mood. And she was making, she is researching now. She was making uh, clothes. I upped things and got all of the stuff into at least two of each, except for the duster, which we don't have enough of any one kind to make a duster yet. But we've got many deer in here and a few wargs coming in too. So they will be plenty enough to uh, to handle a duster soon and then we've got we saw Michael we did not but he's doing pretty good very comfortable in that chair and lots of joy in making his his statues and not the most beautiful room but any dirt in there Scatter was on cleaning I switched her over to hauling there's a little bit of dirt there because she uh, she wiped this place out, so it was, it was in good shape. Miss Peep is over here hauling steel. That's right, she was just chipping away over here. I decided to have her haul some steel in. And then what, grab a meal? Doesn't really need it yet, but she'll probably just go back to mining over in this area. In fact, let's specifically do that. She's gonna go mining, I'm guessing. Uh, oh, she's still dropping off. There we go, she wants to go dig at marble. Let's dig at this steel over here. Let's just keep our steel reserve building. Um, you gonna make it that far? I'll hang around here for a moment. We've seen Alicia, so I guess we're up and running now. Um, looking down here, I notice that Shantigo and Klaus's beds are pretty low quality, so it wouldn't hurt to rebuild those. Though we are sleeping in here right now. Um, how to do that. I mean, have Handy pop in there and do it real quick. But let's wait for Rabbit to be done. Shantigo, though, it was his? Yeah. We could do that one real fast. And I know just the person who could do it. Um, let's uninstall that. Handy, why don't you instead pop out over here and do that real quick. Which is Shantigo's cleaning. He must have finished off our meals. Meals are at Handy Stop are at 40, should get the trigger to come back and start making more. Um, we're out of meat. Okay, so why didn't he just, because Klaus has got it. Ah, okay, that makes sense. As soon as Klaus drops off a big pile of venison, Chantigo 
we'll go over there and take care of that. Um, you are what? You're turkey meat, and there's just one there. Huh. I'd love to get rid of that. Anyway, Handy, let's have you build Shantigo a new bed. Furniture and bed, and you're going to put it... Yep, that's probably the best place. So, Handy, why don't you do that one? And Klaus got to wait for Rabbit to get done. He's almost done. Okay, then let's set you for um, uninstall. Andy is heading for wood. Good. Sangri is in with her wolf. There we go. And there. Well, okay, we're going to not move that or anything. <laughs> Why don't you um, at least get that out in the hallway or something? Thank you. Otherwise, come on over here. You can leave that right there. And undo this one. Somebody will haul that away, I'm sure. All right, now, bed. This is, if you want to get something done, you just got to tell them to do it. All right there. So grab enough wood to build that. What'd you build over here? A good bed. That's a good bed. All right. Um, you're now Shantiko's good bed. Right there. And stop right there. And haul this one out of here. This was a normal bed. And leave that one... Uh, I'll let you haul it all the way. So leave that one... Okay, this one is Klaus. That's what I'm trying to get out of my mouth. Klaus, there you are. Alright, that's all done. And has it been two hours, Alicia? You needs... Yeah, you gotta go for food. Okay, gonna have to keep track of that or she'll hit starvation before she ever gets there. Alright, you're gonna work on power and that's exactly what I was hoping you would do. Yeah, so once all of this is done, everything's mostly laid out except for the batteries. Oh, except for the batteries. We don't have to have it go in a battery and back out and in and back out. We can just tap, tap across. The batteries don't have to be in any certain place in the circuit. They just have to be attached to the circuit. It can even be just say a branch that goes off and hits batteries over here. It's not truly like a normal circuit where you normally use the battery as the source and then move through. They just have to be connected to the line to work, in this case. So, let's instead, or as backup, in case we lose a battery and then lose our entire pathway. Um, pause, don't, don't go anywhere yet. Power, and let's just run across that opening there. Now, you are going to do that. Let's have you actually do this. So, you're going to grab... Ah, okay, I was hoping you were going to grab more steel. There's steel right here, though. I'm going to stay here long enough to drop that off. I see most everybody's getting up. Let's form a hunting party. Okay, now do this one. Uh, handy. That one. Right there. And then I need this taken out. So let's deconstruct from here to there. And there to there. And I'm going to have to wait for you to build these two. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, now we're connected. So I'm going to have to have you manually do this because they just don't like to deconstruct anymore. So I'm going to set up a whole string of orders here. She'll look at them funny and they'll just fall apart. I like Candy. She's got a she's got a good construction speed there. Look at that. <laughs> Almost comical. Okay, with that we need to reconnect. Pop. And reconnect. Where are you? Pop. Right there. You guys are now on this circuit. And this guy needs to be turned off. Let's let the circuit power. If I'm correct, we should see these guys on. Why didn't that not happen? What are we missing? It's like we're missing a part. Power goes through. Switch, which is on. Right? Did they flick it and I wasn't looking? And then we head to it and we head to it. But I've still got that symbol. Okay, I need someone to go flip that switch again. And I guess it's handy. Okay. Actually, are you on or not? You're off. She did it that fast? Wow. No? That is on. Right? Checkmark means it's already on. Oh, that's what it is. We're turned off at the turret. Okay. Now, who wants to go play with that one? Shantigo, I'm glad I caught you. Wow. Wow. 
Klaus, you have just been uh, going a little too overboard here. Let's haul all the venison in to that spot. No, that spot's taken. Um, hmm. Alicia, you can do me a quick favor. Um, yeah, you can... You don't have to haul it. I just need you to move it. Oh, let's try that again. Let's haul three meals. Okay. And there. And thank you. Now you can go on back to whatever you, you wanted to clean dirt. That's the one chore I set you to, thinking it would keep you nearby. And let's see your, your knees right now. Oh, you're in pretty good shape. And even at that, we're just barely into the uh, the positive mood territory. Okay, go ahead and uh, how's your joy um, needs? Joy's not bad either. Okay, well, you just have a ball there. Now, Shantigo, let's do something like this. Now you can haul 75 in. And that will fill up that space right there. Or right there. And then I need you to haul in 75 of... I lost you here. That you? Well, you're right there. Haul in 75 of these. That one I right clicked and wouldn't do it. That one and it would. That is so odd how things randomly do that. Klaus was not going after it. He went after that meat. Okay, you're going to do that. Now, when Catherine gets up, she is set for hauling. I go just park her right there. And she can just have a ball bringing all that stuff in. Klaus, you are making kibble. Great. Are you hauling it? You must be. just can't see it. Right there, you're going to drop off. Oh, they use hay for kibble. I forgot about that. Is that a problem? got to think about that. Because they will also eat the hay. Now, kibble is what? Is it just any vegetable, or is it specifically hay grass? If it is, then we're going to have to concentrate a lot more on hay grass. Details. Raw food and hay. Ah. The raw food... Not necessarily. Let's read this. By combining raw food and plant food. Okay. So if I turned off the hay, you would use veggies. Which we have a lot of, right? Uh, food products we've got 3,000 veggies right now so that would leave what little hay we have left for the llama which probably doesn't eat kibble no you do eat kibble too and the pigs well, pigs will eat anything yeah kibbles right there well maybe that's not an issue now I don't know if something like muffalo will eat kibble hmm Let's leave the hay grass. How long will it sit out here without rotting? Are we okay? 46 of 60, and we're good for three quandrums. At least at this temperature. It's going to get hotter in a couple of months. Hmm. Well, I'm going to turn kibble off for now because we're basically out. We've got 22 there, and we've got a little bit over here. Now we've got about 300 or 200 kibble left, or hay grass left. So you guys let me know if that's a problem. And just notice this and that. But. Yesterday, well, we've had one full day of charge, a normal day of, of full uh, uh, power to our batteries, and we finally made some serious progress. So another, say, three days, and we should be at full batteries again, meaning we're well above our, our power needs at the time. So that's good. In fact, with everything running right now, we are still combining. Okay, so we have a, a need. Now, this doesn't make sense to me. Oh, is that per battery? No, I'm seeing an overall need of the of the whole circuit, because it's, it's the same in every place, of 1,700 watts. Am I right there? Uh, this one? 17, I don't know why it's going up, though. Is that stored? Ah, that's stored. That's the connected rate. Power needed 2,900 watts for that one item. Okay. I'm trying to get a sense of what is our overall usage right now without having to go through and add up 2900 and 275 and so is there no way to do that without a mod <laughs> anyway I'll we'll leave that one alone anyway we're in, we're going into positive territory that's what I wanted to see um glancing down at the list here we got the two new beds for Shantigo and Klaus that was important we have beds to make over here though before we actually need them but we do have five beds right now so that's, that's good. Chantigo is relaxing socially. Um, we need a hunting party before I go any further. 
That's right. Because Thomas Slav, let's look at our, our needs here of the, the five that went last time. Are those the five that'll go this time? We could, you know, Klaus could be in there too. I don't think he was last time. He was sleeping. Um, know, for that matter, we can have everybody head up there just for fun. But really the idea was the uh, the fast movers. So is anybody in trouble of the of the six fast movers? Shantigo, the least shape. Klaus is fine. Um, so that's one, two, three, four, five. And Michael. I got that right. Health there. And then one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, you guys have all got it. So if and Michael was okay, I didn't really glance. Yeah. So let's grab U6. I'm not going to try to do it from here again. How's it? Because I can't just do that, can I? I can. But the last time I held shift and clicked on one, I went to the world map. So how about all of you guys draft and come over here? And then, Michael, you draft and come over here with them. Once everybody's assembled, then we will do something with it. Now, weapon-wise, I'm seeing assault. I'm seeing assault and charge and revolver and revolver. And somebody was already up here. And was it Rabbit? No, it was Klaus. And he's got sniper. He's got sniper. Wolf howling right there. And he's he's been gradually working his way closer and closer to us. So we're going to one, two, three, four, five, six. I got everybody this time, and we're all going to be standing next to each other. Fire. And three of you couldn't do it. Okay, regroup right here. Now fire. Two of them can't do it. That is interesting. So, all oh, revolvers. We Were we using revolvers last time? Let's go to here then. If we're not close enough, they'll run up to it. But when you get just the X right there, that means that everyone's within firing range. All right. And Tomislav wasn't, apparently. I didn't notice that. I was watching this thing, and... Why were you not in firing range? You've got a charge at 22. You must have been at 23. Yep, Thomas Love got shot again. <laughs> oh, torso and heart? Really? <sighs> yep, 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 yep. Thomas Love, you are an unlucky guy, I tell ya. <laughs> Undraft, go get in the bed. Okay, um, yeah, I did go through and set everybody to the blue normal medicine that was on the the uh, glitter world medicine, but we're going to set you back to blue. Okay, well, the other ones who are not going to go run out there in front of a, a barrage of bullets, let's head up to the other guy. We have a lynx there. We have a ostrich is no longer in sight. Nope, he's not up the, the top edge anymore. I have a raccoon there, but where's the other warg? I've got no way of double-clicking to find him. I'm just going to have to search. No, so he was last I saw over here. Um, he was near the lynx. The two of them were kind of... Actually, he was right there, and he's still there. Okay, right there. U5, let's... Wow, getting there is hard. Let's go here. I like that. And why would one choose to go all the way over there and the other one not? Who is that? And why are you so different? I don't know. But Handy just decided that that was the best route to go. If I told you to go there, you'd change it a little bit. Okay. Well, you guys do that. Lynx. Wolf howling. Your food's there. Your food's there. Okay. So let's take out the lynx and take out the warg and we are done with predators and we're almost done with animals except for our little alpaca that was over here there's a turkey uh hunch you alpaca looks to be gone she was tra trying to tame him over here and he's not here anymore um has he moved into our area and i don't think they're going to be in trouble over there uh thomas have you made it in okay natalia i'm going to need to wake you up Sorry about that, but you need to tend to uh, Tomislav. And real quick, Alicia is finally getting there to eat her meal. OK, 
Okay, but she's got most of her rest in this time. Good. I didn't think we'd ever see her maxed out. But um, I did see an alpaca right here, and I assumed it was ours. It's right there now. It's possible that one could have wandered in. But, yeah, I'm thinking that our map is pretty much vacated now of animals except for that turkey. So what meat we've got now is what meat we're going to have. Short of something like squirrels, which I could now set. There's no predators to be concerned about, you know, letting them uh, um, just wander up on their own. All right. Everybody, I'm sure, is in range, right? Yeah, there we go. Now, he's a fast one. Wow. Okay. Can we get as far back as here before he... Ah, oh, you got him. Good. Do that, you guys. Um, reposition over here. And over here. Nope, he's coming towards you now. Alright, can we reach? Nobody's going to go running? Good, they're all aiming. Got him. Okay, there, and I think we're done. We could go for a uh, raccoon skin hat. He's not there anymore. He's right there. Okay. Let's wander that way. Let's just be done with all the last of our hunting. Well, no, I'll tell you what. Let's undraft everybody, and we'll just mark him for hunt. And someone can wander up here and do that just on their own. So, um, Handy, your needs, you need rest. You just go ahead and do that. Let's see here. Chantigo, you're kind of needing it too. Michael, you do too. Who's not in as bad a shape? Rabbit, you bring this one in. And that left Klaus. Right there. You're probably in the second best shape. You bring this guy in. And we're good. Okay. All right, no more predators on the map. And a little more meat in. Someone needs to bring this in. Okay. I didn't even see that somehow. Handy's got the best run speed, so I'm going to have you go ahead and do it. You'll still beat them down there. At least that's what I'm seeing right here. Although you tend to... We'll see who wins. Yeah, yeah, she's still going to leave them in her dust. Okay. So with that, they're all going to go to sleep now. And what should we concentrate on? We've got this guy now. So we need to think about tactics here. So my thought is a... Is a uh, something assault rifle to charge rifle is probably enough for right in here don't have that much of a distance as far as line of sight to be able to defend whoever attack whoever's coming through here minor break risk if something goes wrong they can go through and get into here so let's continue our tactic run here I'm thinking those two as well the ability to dive into here and dive into here and there. Now, will I harm anything by doing that? Is Rimworld smart enough now not to break the conduit when working on the wood? I think it is. But that would be smart there too. Where else? No point in this corner. Tomasov's fully healed. Just a you know bullet to the heart and he's fine. No problem. Needs health. He has completely healed from everything except for a shattered rib which I think was one of the very first episodes I don't think he came with that yeah which does what gives him constant pain remember remembering that right although he's got constant pain from uh, his disease moderate pain I don't think there's a second pain in here no okay anyway um, I think that Michael is still set for hunt, so he'll probably tackle those. Rabbit is clearing out the hay grass. Good. And Kethra is where right now? Hauling in the meat. Good, good, good. Otherwise, yep, you've already restocked over here. Bringing the hay grass out there, which is not that critical, but you've, you've committed to it, so I guess we're going to have that happen. Although, boy, I would love to get the rest of this hauled in. Let's short circuit that and what do we have in here oh i've got to click on them so venison 
bird meat. That's emu, huh? Unless ostrich and emu are all the same as far as the meat goes. Um, warg, warg, venison. So if we did a... Let's see, you've got Kethra. So you're hauling that. That is a venison. And then haul in a bird. And then haul in a warg. That's going to take several of the piles. And then... Where was the other venison? I think that's enough. We'll go with that. That should clear up most of that. Okay. Sleeping, sleeping. I don't think... Well, Handy's the one who would do it, and she's sleeping. So I don't have to worry about these guys being disturbed right now. Okay. All right, so how did... How must be did pretty good. We're gradually working our way through this. I could attempt to start laying out these bedrooms. I am going to want to take this one out, too. Though, I just got to think about that. That needs to be a, a wall, a real wall, not a uh, rough stone wall. So let's go ahead and set that. Uh, now, let's go to orders and mine. Let's mine out this run right here. Actually, it goes all the way down to that. Just have to remember, too wide for a hallway, then a, a, a wall. Doors going into bedrooms. A chase between them with a door going into the back that is blocked, like these with a turret at that door. Open the door, fire the turret through, and if, if there's a bug infestation in a particular bedroom, one turret for each room, you know, rooms back to back. So I think there's enough spaces here to pull this off. So a chase, tur a turret chase, wall, bedroom, wall, hallway, and probably have to take one more line out eventually for another constructed wall. So I think that's going to work out there. That's the bedroom uh, solution to bugs. We still got a probably just a turret sitting in the middle of of uh, the freezer for if it happens over here. You can't really burn out your freezer to kill off the the bugs because you kind of burn out your food. Ah, we did get that done, and they are alive now, and they're sucking our power down. Let's get you turned off. Okay, so that's good. Now back to the list. Got our detox center kind of done. So I cross that one off need to haul chunks into this so that's got to get done real soon we've got to get a, another raid coming in soon we're we're not ready for it um otherwise on the list we've got the second greenhouse to deal with the safe house is done somebody's shooting i hear someone thomas Law is set for hunting that's right i did do that yeah we'll let him have fun with it <laughs> Let's get to the other side of the wall. All right. And, oh, you you got them. Great. Everyone needs to get a chance to try it. Next next year, we'll, uh, we'll do some, some various hunting parties. Alicia, you right now are? Needs? Needing food again. Right there. You're keeping Shantigo in practice. Lots of fine meals for you. All right. You start that process up. Um... Kathra, you are hauling out chunks and hauling fine meals to stockpile 24 because one went away. That's a little frustrating part about hauling. With the cook stoves, at least now, you can say, don't do it until we're at least 10 down. But the hauling, if there's one down, they've got to make a long trip over there to, to fill that one spot. Um, Natalia started a social fight with Kathra. You, you just walked in the room. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. I think these two went at it once before, didn't they? Yeah. Um, can we watch this real time, I wonder? Come on. Give me a Cathra. Combat. So, Cathra clobbered Natalia. Who started this, anyway? And so, Cathra insulted Natalia. Mm-hmm. This drove Natalia into a rage, and she began a fight. So we've got Catherine uh, clobbered Natalia with her mighty left fist, smashing her torso in an explosion of gore. <laughs> oh, man. Natalia missed Catherine with a bash from her right fist. Catherine tried to clobber Natalia, but, but hesitated at the last second. Natalia struck Catherine with her left fist, injuring her left leg while wearing a blank look. Catherine thrashed with her left fist. Natalia smashed Kathra, bruising her left arm and left humorous while wearing a 
poison look. Cathra tried to strike Natalia with her left fist, but stumbled at the last second. Natalia struck Cathra, injuring her torso and pelvis without emotion. Cathra missed Natalia with a smash from her hand. Natalia used her head to strike. She gave head headbutt her, injuring her right leg. <laughs> Random number generator there. Um, while wearing a blank look. Okay. And then Cathra flailed toward Natalia with her firm right fist. So Natalia's winning this one. Cathra clobbered, or Natalia clobbered Cathra, clobbering her right leg and right femur in an explosion of gore. Cathra stumbled while trying to bash Natalia. Natalia smashed Cathra in the neck. Yeah, this is just going to go on and on, and is there longer social fighting? Okay. Cathra smashed Natalia in the right arm, and it ended. So, we pulled a gun. This isn't good. Okay, we put it away. And we're both going to, you know, walk side by side into uh, into the hospital and, and get treated. Well, um, Thomas Love, you've, you've, got, uh, you've got some work to do here. Yeah. Okay, so Natalia. Hell, bruises and cracks. Cathra, bruises and cracks. All right. Um... No medicine is needed to my understanding, but I'm also going to make the guess that Herbal will speed up the process a little bit and we can get our hauler back. So we'll leave you with that and leave you with that. Okay, we've got lots of medicine in now. 35, but we used some for the gunshot, but everything got hauled. No, we didn't. we got to get that hauled in. Um, Sangria's training wild boar one, and then you're going to haul that medicine in. Okay. And Tomislav, you are on your way. You just came in, consuming a fine meal. Okay, then you're going to want to rest. But after that, you're going to tend to Catherine, who needs it more, then Natalia after that. Okay, but go ahead and have your, your meal first. This isn't super urgent. Okay, well, with that little round of excitement, where do we go from there? Greenhouse. I need Handy, who is not sleeping anymore. Handy, you are grabbing a fine meal. Needs... And then you're fine. Okay. So you are then going to haul more wood into this corner right here when you're done. Yeah. And that should be enough to finish up this section, I'm hoping. Oh, we did get the cutting done. Oh, then don't do that. Um, come on up here and use this wood. So handy, just come up and chop this tree. Work on the wooden wall. That'll be fine. Then I'll get you to finish this with the wood that's already up here. And we'll leave the wood that's down here for projects down here. Like, uh, oh, it's not how much of it left. Oh, there's some over there. For like uh, building these beds and things like that. Otherwise, we just have to haul it all back in again. Uh, Klaus, you're up and about grabbing a meal. And you are set to butcher. Uh, otherwise, you'll be set to hauling. You are... Mental break, sad wanderer. Who is that? Michael? I never noticed that Michael was that bad off. Jump two. And needs. You're in pretty good shape. Must have had both of these go down at once. Went to rest. Didn't food. And then went for the food. But it, at the last second as the food was working its way up, it triggered. Hmm. Okay. Well, a sad wanderer. I didn't get to read that. Yeah. Are you... Is it here? It needs? No. Um, be nice to get a description of that. I missed it. So, I will I guess you guys can go back and rewind and hit, uh, um, hit pause and read it. And I'll do the same when I uh, go through and, and edit. But anyway, he's just going to mope around depressed and woe is me and... But he'll be fine. He's not out there angry, destroying things, and that's good. Let's get some more compacted steel done over here. And eventually we'll get a bedroom going. In fact, we should. Yeah, we'll get the compacted steel done. And then we will have her start right here. And eventually work your way in this way. And then we can start placing bedrooms. Maybe I'll go through, make some guesses, and count spaces. And I can start laying out the walls that are in this area. But mostly let's just get that dug out. We don't have any. Natalia is has been healed. Natalia needs health. 
Yes, and your food's fine. Feeding a fine meal to Cathra. Will you look at that? Good going. Okay. Tomislav went to bed. He's he's done. All right. Trontigo, meals, we're at 44. You are just playing horseshoes for at midnight for fun. Okay. Why not? Handy. Almost. Your needs, joy, you don't have any. Come on up here and, well, come do this. And just to get you further up here, so I don't trigger you grabbing wood from way down over there. And then instead I'll have you actually build it. And then you'll grab a stack of wood up there and get this going. Where are we? 40 minutes into this? Okay, that's fine. We'll go a little bit longer. All right, you dropped all those off. Actually, just go ahead and bring the wood into there while I'm here. And that way it's all set up. And then have you lay this out while I'm here. There's steel up here? Oh, there's steel up there. Oh, good. That's good to see. I laid that out uh, in between episodes and somebody wandered up here. All right, so you're going to just get these laid out. If they're laid out, then I can forget that she's even here and know that she's going to just make her way through and get everything built. But I need to get all this laid out before I think about putting traps in here, too, because they're going to need to wander around and through. But, yeah, put as much of the steel out as you can. And then, you know what? Your needs are great. I mean, they're really good. You can go for a long time hauling limestone chunks. Now, what happened here? Why did this trigger to marble? What did I do wrong? Stone chunks, limestone. So maybe at some point before? Hmm, no, that wouldn't be it. These could have already been here. This may have been a chunk of stones when we our gauntlet just did this. I'd have to go back and look at that, but it's very possible that there's like, you know, these random stones just laying out there. Maybe there was a patch of them right here. And we laid out the gauntlet, placed the, uh, uh, the storage zones in there, and they just happen to already be there. They need to be hauled away. But, so there isn't a problem here. You randomly storage our limestone. Over here, limestone. Everything... Let's try that again. Storage, limestone. So we're good. Okay. So Handy, I'm going to make your next, oh, couple of days really boring. Sorry. That's limestone. Um, right? Is that just too far away? That's why I didn't do it before? Yep, yeah, that is limestone. All right. Let's just find some more in this area. And a big circumference around all this. That looks like marble. Yep. Marble there, marble there. Okay. Got a bunch of limestone over on this side. And let's zoom out to over here. Got limestone over here. What is the fastest? Well, these three are the fastest. You are marble. Okay. So handy for starters. Let's, of course, the further away they are, the more she's going to break away and ignore my, my orders and that she's not going to get it done. We may have to do this in stages. Put a limestone storage right here and a limestone storage right here and then have them haul to that. May have to, may have to stagger this into here. Yeah. But we'll do those three for now. Who else is up that can run? Klaus is. Needs. He's, he's butchering and I'm kind of thankful for that. Hmm... But we need our, our gauntlet done. What just... You're not Klaus. <laughs> Klaus is over here. He is building power conduit. What did I do there? Because he can't cook and he can't hunt, Klaus. So, cooking's not available, hunting's not available. Construction is his next. I see. He's an 8 of 20, so he's decent at it. Okay, um, let's take grow down to four and everything else down like that so that hauling drops into his next two when he's not available. That might be valuable for the you know, while we're doing all this kind of stuff. Um, otherwise, Klaus, you are there and your mood is great. Your needs are fine. All right, let's do this. I need these 
to get to here. So let's just set this up because I don't think, I think there's a distance problem. I think they're all going to break away and not do what I've asked them to do. So if we did that there and for this group over here, I want this area loaded up with them. In fact, that's probably where to send Klaus right now. And then for, where's another big reserve? Well, to get from here into there, I'm probably going to have to do something like um, like this. Okay. So, this one. Copy. And let's, uh, yeah. URJ for paste. And move that over. J. And there. J. Okay. In that case, Klaus, let's have you come over and haul this. And let's see if we can get you at least halfway there before you say, uh-uh. Alicia, chemical damage. No! Okay. What was caused by go juice tolerance large? Chemical damage. What specific is it? Jump to. Right there. Needs uh, health. So... Moving manipulation whole body brain yep our alicia has gone so alicia we will start you over with a new character later and this was a like i said an interesting experiment to figure out how to deal with detox but detox is just too aggressive in my opinion and it just makes it so that it's it's almost impossible you know i watched kathra um have a detox have a, have a addiction character in one of her last series and she was able to get through that without micromanaging hardly at all i mean i i work individually with all the different characters and and that character just kind of roamed around in the background did her own thing and she came out of it but that's two out of two that have not made it so alicia will probably pass away here soon at least alicia 1.0 alicia 2.0 We'll be rolling onto our map here before too long, and and uh, we'll get you back into the game. But well, now I know a lot more about how detox works. Handy, you were willing to do that. I am impressed. I thought for sure you would have shut down partway. Klaus, you have gotten this far, and you are still t attempting to haul limestone. Let's have you haul a different one instead. That will reset your timer. I think you're close enough to do it now. So let's do that one and that one and that one and that one as well. Okay. So that will start to get them moved, I assume, to here. Even though the exact same priority, I assume we're going to go to the closest of the exact same priority. Alicia is down. Michael is zoned out on a sad wander. And he's, he's going to walk about. And otherwise, we've got Natalia beat up and Kathra beat up. Yeah, we're, we're a rough crew right now. We really are. Um, Tomislav, let's see. Alicia, is there anything that can be done for you? First of all, we can set you up as a hospital bed. Maybe that will help out. And um, Tomislav, can I tell you to do anything? Nope. Cannot. Um, Alicia, can I cannot walk so I can't even say rest till healed or any anything like that okay your food um, needs is getting low I guess we got to hit that line right there and then we can get somebody I think anybody at that point can feed I'm pretty sure once they get below that line there's more of a of a companion command of that I've never I haven't tried it this series but I did that in alpha 13 I was able to get somebody to feed somebody else Oh, no, I thought that was about to happen. No, Sangria just brought some over. Okay, I can't right-click. There, prioritize feeding Alicia. I can. So, Sangria, can you do that, please? It maybe has something to do with wardening. Well, no, that wouldn't make sense either. They're all set for warden. They're all set for doctor. But I think if I took all those off, I could still get them to feed each other once they're in a, uh, a bad state without an injury. But I would have to believe this would associate with some kind of an injury. So no moving, no manipulation, no talking, no eating, uh, brain chemical damage, consciousness very poor, sight weakened, blood pumping weakened. Yeah. So if she goes the way of Agira, then it could be in the next oh, 15 minutes or so. We're going to be shutting down here in a little bit. But Klaus, you 
our butchering. Okay, if I'm going to get the hauling done, I'm going to have to turn that off, unfortunately. So, Shantigo, you are now the only one cooking. Klaus, you are three there. Okay, let's try this again. You've shut down all my orders, haven't you? You didn't know you got five of them done. Okay, now if I could just get you to stay here and haul without having to... What's your needs look like? You're good for another five at least. So, Klaus, let's have you... Paul, let's do these six. Actually, it's short runs. Let's do eight. Did I get that one? If I didn't, I did now. All right, so you can handle all those. Handy, where are you? You snuck away and went to sleep on me. Okay, Michael, how you doing? Needs. You're still fine. You're probably going to keep doing this till you collapse, aren't you? Yeah, just don't collapse in the in the water, okay? I'd appreciate that. Catherine, are you around? You know, you're, you're bedridden. How bad off are you? Needs uh, health. Right there. You're, <laughs> you're pretty wiped out there. Yep, okay. Um, we're almost done with Natalia. I can't tell you just to go to work, can I? No, because your work is research and you won't research. Okay. Oh, well. I think we're in kind of a state of limbo at the moment. So, probably a good time to turn this off, huh? I think so. Nobody's... Well, Klaus is out there. Otherwise, nobody's out and about. Let's do a quick little tour of our map, and we'll call it done. We have a fox that moved in. Ostrich still exists over here. Okay. Otherwise, just moving around slow. Get to this end. Nothing's moving in there. Through here. There's a turkey. Be nice to see a herd of buffalo come in. No, we're pretty quiet over here. And let's head over to right over here. No, nope. Theoretically, there's nothing in the middle if nothing was on the outside. So, yeah. Map's pretty quiet. We're pretty quiet. A lot of healing going on. Well, let's call her done. It's been Noble Rambler. Thanks, guys, for watching. And I'll probably catch you in a couple of days. I've put out three or four in a row now. So I'm going to give a day off for folks to catch up that have had a busy week and can't uh, handle an hour-long episode. So with that, uh, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.